So we're taking an x-ray of Casper. He's got a big tumor on his knee. And it's gotten, unfortunately, sometimes these tumors grow so big, they get to be where, you know, they're causing problems. And it's outgrowing its own blood supply and he's rubbing it on things and it's causing a problem. So we're taking an x-ray of his lungs. And my concern is, is this cancerous? If it's cancer, then it a lot of times will spread to the lungs and we can see it on the x-ray. So that's what our worry is right now. First, we're gonna take an x-ray before we talk about removing this tumor. Come on in here, let's take a look at those x-rays. Here we are, this is a side view of his chest. So this is his head up here and the air is coming into his airway and it's nice and black. The lungs are nice and black and you have normal blood vessels that make like a Christmas tree pattern in the lungs. But we don't see any round uh, circular tumors. There's an end on blood vessel. Here's a normal shape to his heart. Everything looks good. So I think he's safe to go ahead with the surgery. We have Casper under anesthesia and we're looking at his tumor. Here are a couple of my concerns. This thing obviously has to come out. It's outgrown its blood supply. This part of the tumor is not receiving blood and some of it's dying and turning black. Some of it's dirt and stuff crushed up in there. But we go to remove this, you can see it doesn't have very much skin right here. So we got to worry about, are we going to be able to close the wound after we take this tumor off? Also, he has an allergy and he has a little skin infection that happens sometimes. And preferably we would not want to do surgery when he has this infection that could spread to a surgery site. But in this case, we're kind of forced to do it. So we're going to be extra careful in scrubbing him and prepping him and keeping this area aseptic. And we're going to put him on antibiotics and uh, we're going to go ahead with his surgery. Well, I'm thinking about Casper surgery. I'm worried about, am I gonna have enough skin to close it? Can I, can I close that wound after I get the tumor off? And is there gonna be a lot of bleeding? Because when we were scrubbing it, you can see all the blood vessels coming to the surface and it's gonna be a lot of bleeding with this surgery. So, well, let that be a warning. If you don't wanna watch, watch out. There might be some blood coming up, but uh, we'll tune back in when we get in there and see what we can do. It is huge. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but these little veins, there's just torturous little veins going all into this thing from all different directions. This might be a nightmare. But we got to do it. Can't stay there. It's got to come off. It's got to come off. We'll figure out how to make it happen. Hey everybody, if you're afraid of blood, close your eyes. skin here and there's a lot of blood here you can see all these vessels coming into this thing and every one of these clamps is holding off an artery or a vein these tumors secrete factors that cause the blood vessels to grow into them and help them grow bigger and bigger so this one I'm, it feels well encapsulated I'm working my way around it I don't have time to talk right now because we got to work fast so we don't lose too much blood but it's going really well so far How's he doing? Doing good. He's, he's recovering. Breathing. He's breathing nice and steady. Yep, breathing really well. He's starting to have a small um, palpebral response. I'm watching. His him. eyelids and his color's really good. So I'm just waiting for him to swallow. Let's take a look at his knee. I didn't get, get uh, in there to see the whole thing, but we got a little band-aid over it. There's several layers of suture under the skin to pull that together. And uh, the concern is, did it get the skin too tight here? But I think it feels really good. It looks really good. And when he bends his knee, is he gonna break it open? So we put several layers in there, try to hold it and this Band-Aid on. Hopefully, Casper, when you wake up, you can take care of this, aren't you, buddy? Okay. Hey, buddy.
buddy. How you doing? How you doing? Hold on. Let me take him out here. Yeah, come on back in here. Come on back in here. Let's take a look at you. How'd he do? You good? Hey, Randy. Hi. Hey. Hey. Yeah. I like to scream at him a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but I like, I like to stay this size. You can um, see your little chin. It's getting better under here, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. That little um, cone was giving him a little rash. Oh, so yeah. I took it off. Yeah, the antibiotics helping his skin, though. You want a treat? You want a cookie? He's a wild one. Let's take a look at your leg. Maybe you'll sit down. Let's see. Can you sit like this? Can you look at it? That's a good boy. Oh, it's very good. So I was worried because we had to pull the skin so tight to close that. Yeah. There's several layers of sutures underneath here. And sometimes they get a little reaction to it. But he has not reacted at all. You got a little scab there. That's going to fall off in time. Looks great. I left him in the living room for, for a long time because my yeah. head's a little bit tired. So like, Why? Hey, that's okay. He's sweet. No, he didn't. He's slow it down any. No, he didn't. Well, that's good news. He's yeah. certainly happy. Are you happy? <laughs> yes. Not to have that big Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> No, it's okay, I'll come down to you. <laughs> he's a very excited dog. Yeah, he's a sweetie. He's sit. He's sit. He's easy. Sit for the camera and show us how pretty you are. He's excited right now. He wants to be a little more than he wants to. Yeah. There you go. That's great. Hard. So he's home free. He can have a bath, go swim bath. Do whatever he wants now. Over top of that knee and the skin got pulled so tight, it's going to take a little while to work it out. But that's normal. So that's good. So where are we on his medicine? Do we still have some antibiotics? Yeah. <laughs> you want to continue those all the way out. And if he has any pain tablets, you probably don't need those anymore. No. He went, the second day he started whining, so I, I gave it a little bit to him a little bit earlier yeah. because he was whining a little bit. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's he's a one. lap dog. Yeah. See, did we get him on the Brevecto for cleaning yeah. sticks? Good. Good. He needs a bath. I just couldn't get yeah. him a bath. He can have a bath it. and then... Uh, when he runs out of the antibiotics, just watch him real close because it's springtime and allergy season. His skin might get real red and it starts getting stinky and greasy like that again. We'll have to put him back on the antibiotics. Okay. He's doing great. You little one will have to help pick the little one up and help. And I don't need any help for this one. Okay? I don't need help for this one. You could think of Hartlet, but you couldn't think of intervals. No, because I don't do intervals, I do Hartlets. Okay. <laughs> Dr. Smith, that's not how you do it. Who decides how you do it? Everybody, get your hands.